At Atlantic City, where beauty contests occur as regularly as rainstorms in an English summer, they've found a new angle on the subject. And this is the result. It's all curves. Everything and everybody clicks when these shapeless parade for their competitors for the title of Miss Press Photographer. And if nobody else is having a good time, the Flash Boys at least are getting their money's worth. But then a photographer's life isn't all girls and gaiety. At times it's quite a risky business. The judges huddle, and this is what develops. Peggy Sullivan, 20-year-old Texan, Miss Press Photographer, 1948. Arriving in London, showman Edgar Bergen, who earns thousands by talking to himself, and his other ego, dummy Charlie McCarthy. Well, Charlie, here we are in England. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hard to be in England now that summer is here. Where is it? We should have a hot water bottle. Could we have a little brandy? No, no, Charlie. I think you had a brandy on a plane. Yes. I told you not to touch the stuff. I know. For a growing boy, alcohol is nothing more or less than slow poison. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I hope I have a successful concert tour here. Oh, you're a concert artist. Oh, yes. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Oh, come on, get along. Oh, excuse me. Way back in 1900, when the new look was first born, the short-sighted young ladies looked something like this. Large lenses trimmed with gold, easy to look through but not to look at. The 1920s brought horn rims, and the old saying that men don't make passes at girls who wear glasses. But the American Miss, helped by fashion designer Charles Foster, changed all that. Today, to thousands of spectacle wearers, eyeglasses are as much of a fashion necessity as gloves, shoes, hat and handbag. And they don't cost any coupons. Style and colour of the frames are determined by the occasion. For the gingham dress, there are gingham glasses. Yes, there's glamour in goggles. Seeing the world through rose-coloured lenses is even popular with the younger set. Four-year-old Helen Palmer, specially chosen to present a bouquet to the Queen, shares for a few moments the royal limelight when Her Majesty visits the hundred young inmates of Govan's Child Welfare Centre. Music provided by the Tiny Tots Band gives the royal guest a loud and cheerful welcome. Occasion for the visit, one of the last on the Scottish tour, is the dedication of the playground to the memory of Lady Helen Graham, who was a lady-in-waiting to the Queen and a co-founder of the centre. Accompanied by Lord Provost Sir Hector McNeil, the Queen watches the youngsters at play in their garden beach, a homemade city seaside brought to the heart of Glasgow. Yeah. 